I'm Gabriel Morenci for Sports Interaction. Is it just me or is the sports world heating up more so than the weather on the East Coast? Between the NBA defections, the World Cup finals, the start of a spectacular CFL season, the Midsummer Classic rapidly approaching, and hey, even the Arena Football League starting to get interesting as the playoffs are around the corner. We've got a lot of stuff to work with. Let's start in South Africa. Remember when LeBron James was popular in Cleveland? Remember when the European soccer unions were we're getting bashed. Ooh, South America's dominating the World Cup. Well, yeah, now they're burning jerseys in Seatown. And now two European sides will be playing for world soccer supremacy. Now, I picked Spain before this tournament started, but I legitimately thought the Germans had what it took to knock them off. I don't understand why they backed off. Spain is good, but they're an aging of sides. Yes, they're deep. Yes, they're talented. But you take a look at the youth that uh, Holland is going to be bringing to the table. They're too young to know any better. Now, I think think this is a, a match that could go 90 plus minutes. I wouldn't be shocked if these two sides played for 120 minutes and it wraps up in dramatic fashion. Now, I don't know how dramatic Germany and Uruguay is going to be. You know, what kind of consolation is finishing in third uh, place? Nobody remembers who finishes in second, let alone third. Yet I think Uruguay might want this a little bit more. And don't forget, Forland is gunning for a golden boot. I think I'm going to swing for the fences when it's all said and done and uh, hit the pin Yada, 81 to 1. I'll just throw my money down. Give me the minute sport interaction. I'll kick back and enjoy a weekend of spectacular football. And I'm not just talking about the Vuvuzelas in South Africa, yet thank God I will never hear another Vuvuzela again. Now, speaking of spectacular football, could things have gotten any better in the Canadian Football League's week one? The NFL Network picked up the Montreal Alouette Saskatchewan Rough Rider game. It was one of the best CFL games, and it's like 100-year history. Can things get any better this week? Yes, I think they can. Saskatchewan rolls into British Columbia. Casey Printers and the BC Lions are very impressive in week one. You know what else is going to be impressive? The crowd and the atmosphere at Empire Stadium outdoors in British Columbia. BC Lions fans have been clamoring for something like this. I think Wally Bono's got a bad taste left in his mouth after what happened last week. And yes, Darren Durant was an amazing uh, quarterback last week. A spectacular performance. Uh, one for the ages. Let us not forget that Saskatchewan's defense got carved for 50-plus uh, points. I like the BC Lions uh, this Saturday night at the new and refurbished Empire Stadium. Now, speaking of uh, football, the Arena League starting to get interesting. Now, for a league that didn't play for 18 months, you knew that the play would be a little bit sloppy to kickstart the year, and it was. But there's nothing sloppy about the way the Spokane Shocker play. I'll lay the points on the road against a turnover-prone Cleveland Gladiator football team. But give me the points with Arizona. Arizona, Chicago should be a football game that will come down to the final possession. If you're a football fan, I don't care. Soccer, CFL, AFL, it's going to be a great weekend of football. But let us not forget, the Midsummer Classic is rapidly approaching. And, yes, it's a joke that home field advantage in the World Series will be given to the winner. But, uh, hey, it is what it is, right? You know what else uh, is what is? The New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves playing a first-place showdown series before the Midsummer Classic. Doc Holliday was supposed to put the Philadelphia Phillies over the top. Ironically enough, the Phillies' bats have gone cold. The Atlanta Braves, under Bobby Cox, and what will be his last season, are going to be an interesting team to keep our eyes on down the stretch. I'm Gabriel Morenci for Sports Interaction. May the winners be yours.